Why dentistry? What got you into dentistry specifically? Well, I think everybody has their own personal story about why dentistry. I mean, I had a bad experience as a kid. My parents were immigrants, new to the country, uh, didn't know what to do. I had a bunch of cavities. I, I liked candy like any other kid. And uh, my parents took me to a public um, service dental facility. A really horrible experience. It was exactly what you know the old movies used to you know try to portray dentists as the mean person who's masochistic. I always loved biology and sciences and thinking about healing and dentistry was a conduit for me to be able to maintain a relationship with my patients. So I went into a field where I can get to know people over a long period of time and share in their well-being. I chose dentistry because it fit all those things. The fact that it was a challenge as a surgeon, as an orthodontist, and you know, doing implants and all these new techniques to grow bone and tissue in, in the jaw and, the, and, and in the face and that impact on patients lives um, that I have something to do with making someone feel better about themselves adding to their self-confidence seeing somebody who couldn't chew be able to chew food to see somebody who couldn't smile able to smile again um, those are just so rewarding for me <laughs> the reality was I, I actually was not sure which way to go. I was either gonna go medicine or dentistry up until my senior year in, in undergraduate, and I was a biology major. And um, I got sick, I got um, meningitis. After 10 days in the hospital, I just didn't see myself wanting to ever be back in the hospital. So I, I figured that I would take what I, my experience as a child, and go into a field where maybe I can make things better for people where I thought I was mishandled as a, as a younger person. One of the good things for me is as an orthodontist, I have seen a lot of my patients uh, grow up from five, six, eight years old and, and now seeing them in their 30s and 40s with kids and jobs and, and, and that to me is really rewarding. I had something to do with, with them, their self-confidence. And, and then on the other hand, as a person who's dual trained and a specialist, I, I do two, two different things. And being involved in surgery, typically I have an older population. So on the orthodontic side, I really see a completely different set of people. And then on the surgical side, I see an, an older uh, population. For those people, I, I help them either retain their dentition or, or replace their dentition. And in either case, I can affect their enjoyment of their lives. I think being able to smile and being able to chew and be able to speak confidently is a very big part of our lives that some, sometimes goes underrated by a lot of people. Something that's asked quite a bit by my medical colleagues is the impact that oral health has on overall health. Remember, I was not sure which way I was gonna go, medicine, dentistry, but in fact, with the dentistry we perform in many cases eradicates disease from the mouth, which then improves the systemic health of the patient. So we'll have patients that come in here with terrible blood, blood tests and uh, hypertension and uh, cardiac issues, respiratory illnesses, and uh, liver problems, and all of a sudden we will clean up their mouths and I've gotten letters from physicians that treat our patients saying they couldn't believe the differences in the overall health and what the numbers reported back. And I try to explain to them that it's it's been proven already, it's not something unusual. It's in the New England Journal of Medicine, the British Journal of Medicine, we, you know, we have an impact on a lot of the systemic illnesses on patients. When we treat the disease in the mouth, we actually improve uh, the patient's overall health, and, and that's, again, an added benefit. So if you mix all those things together, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's what I'm doing.